Hello, this is New Wave of British Heavy Metal dot com, 29th of November 2020. Uh, before we get into the video too much, if I might ask the usual opening plea, and that's if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, that would be very much appreciated and a big help. And here we'll look at Wayward Sons and their debut album, Ghosts of Yet to Come. Now, this goes back about three years. I, I went to see UFO at the Home Firth Picture Drome. Now, if you haven't been to the Picture Drome at Home Firth, when things reopen again after this pandemic buffoonery, you must. It's an excellent little venue. Home Firth's a really great place as well. Uh, known, I guess, primarily for the old BBC TV comedy series, um, Last of the Summer Wine. But, you know, like we're, we're not talking about comedy series here, are we? Uh, but anyway, um, as is usual for, for going to Home Firth, you have a pre-gig a pre curry around the corner and then wander in, in into the picture drum whenever you feel like it. Anyway, on, on this particular night, I got in there just in time to see support band bounce on stage. I had no idea who they were, uh, but I, I did think that the front man looked familiar, and I couldn't quite place him immediately. Uh, but I thought it was Toby Jepson. I'm sending me texts early in the morning. Let's put that on silent for a second. Um, so anyway, as, as I say, I, I thought it was Toby Jepson, but I couldn't be sure because um, I'm very old and my eyesight isn't what it used to be. But my mate can see, like, he eats lots of carrots and he can see really well. And he said, yeah, it is Toby Jepson, who, of course, I remember from the Little Angels days a couple of decades ago. So I was curious to find out what, what Wayward Sons were all about. And they were excellent. They, they, they really put on an excellent, excellent support package with, with UFO. And even though they had the sort of muddy sound that most most um, support acts tend to get, the, the the band really shone through as playing excellent, full-blooded, meaty rock songs with some some humour behind it as well. So I figured that when I got home, I'd, I'd better buy it. And I'm glad I did. Uh, th this album, and uh, Wayward Sons have put one out since, but uh, th this goes to yet to come. Proper, proper, excellent, meaty, chunky, solid rock songs performed by a really tight band. And Toby sings up a storm. His voice is excellent from start to finish. There's big chords and riffs all over the set, all over the place. Really punchy, punchy rock songs, and the, the the lyrics are really like quite clever and humorous as well. Just a, a lot of swagger, a lot of swagger to it all, all the way through. It, it's re really good stuff. You know, and whereas Little Angels, who I still have a lot of affection for, were um, uh, a little bit inconsistent, shall we say. It, it's not the case here with Wayward Sons. Every song on Ghosts Are Yet To Come is well written, well performed, consistently good, instantly likeable, and it, it's proper infectious rock music with some swagger and attitude to it. And there's a little bit of a nod back to the 80s, but it, it, it sounds up to date, modern and fresh as well. Absolutely no hesitation in recommending that you check out this album. I'm, I'm sure if you did, you, you'd like it. I, I think it's top, top, top notch. If you'd like to have a check it out, as as always, underneath in the description to this video is a link to the album on Amazon if you want to go and have a look at it there. And also a link to the blog post if, if you'd like to read that. Uh, so please do both. And uh, don't forget to subscribe before you go, please. That would be tremendous. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and take care.